How's it going everybody? I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Minecraft server. We're going to be going over everything from installing Java, to getting the server set up, and even installing a few common plugins. This is all super simple, super easy, and you can do it on your computer right now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The very first thing that we want to do is check if we have Java installed. So to do that, so we're going to open a terminal if you're on Linux or Mac, and a command prompt if you're on Windows. And once we have this open, we're going to type java dash dash version. And if you get an error here, like it says command not found, or anything like that, that means that Java is not installed, and you can continue to the next step where we will install Java. If this command does not return an error, that means you already have Java installed, and you can skip on to when we actually start creating the server. So if you're on Linux like me, this is very simple. All you have to do is open your distributions package manager and type Java. As you can see, I already have it installed, but if you didn't have it installed, you would just install it. Uh, but if you're on Windows, it's gonna be a little bit different. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to this URL. And again, I will leave this in the description. And then we're gonna click on latest release, LTS. And then we're going to hit save. And once that's downloaded, we're going to come into our downloads or wherever you save this. You're going to right click on it, press install, and then just go through the install. And there we go, should be installed. So now that you've installed Java, we're just gonna come back to our terminal or command line. We're gonna type Java dash dash version again. And hopefully this gives you the proper output. If it doesn't, you can try restarting your computer. And if that still doesn't work, then you've probably done something wrong when installing Java and you wanna go back because you'll need Java for the next step. Okay. So now that we have Java installed, the next thing we need to do is download our server jar. In this video, we're gonna use paper because not only is it faster than the vanilla server jar, it also allows us to use plugins. So we're gonna head over to papermc.io and I will put this link in the description and we're going to go to downloads and we're just gonna download the latest version here and we're just gonna press save. And once that's downloaded, we can begin our next step. So now our server jar is downloaded. We're just gonna create a folder to put all of our Minecraft server files in. So I'm just gonna create a folder called Minecraft server and then we're just going to drag that paper.jar into there and move here okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to rename this to paper because i think it's a bit cleaner and it's easier to work with so we can just rename that to paper.jar the next step is going to vary from mac uh, linux and windows so for me i'm going to right click and press open terminal and this will basically open a terminal in this folder now if you're on windows i'll show a clip here uh, of how to do this up in this bar here and that should open a command prompt in this folder so this next thing is going to be a little bit weird and i'll explain exactly how this command works in a second um but basically what we're going to type is java and then a dash and then xmx one gigabyte or one g then dash xms one g then space dash jar and then paper dot jar like that and then no GUI and now we're gonna hit enter and you'll see it'll download all of the files it needs which this might take a second and it'll apply the paper patches and now it's gonna start a server which is great so we now have our server starting but if we look here oh no we have an error and this is because we need to agree to the EULA. So if we come back here to our folder, we can see all these new files, right? We have the server properties file. We have all of these cache files. We have all of this. Uh, we also see one called EULA.txt. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this. You'll probably have notepad on Windows. Uh, for me, it's Kate on Linux. And we're just gonna change this EULA equals false to EULA equals true. Make sure you spell this right, because if you don't, it will not work. So once that is true, we can just save the file and close it. And if we come back to our terminal, we can just put in the command again and hit enter. And you should see that the server will start up. It'll generate the world. And there you go. You now have a working server. Now, we're not quite done. 
So we're going to type stop to shut down the server. And once that's off, we are going to change server.properties. And that's right here. So we're just going to open that up uh, in your text editor. And if we look at this, we see we have all kinds of things here. We've got if you, whether you can allow flight, whether you're allowed to go into the nether, we have all kinds of stuff. Now I'm not going to look at all of these settings, just a few important ones. So the first one is the difficulty, and that's pretty easy to understand. Right now it's on easy. We can change this to normal. Another good setting is your game mode, whether you want it to be survival, creative, adventure. For us, because this is a testing server, I'm just gonna change this to creative like that. And again, make sure you spell all of this right. The next one we're gonna look at is the maximum amount of players. Now you can set this to as high a number as you want, but just remember that the more players on your server, the more resources your server will need to run smoothly. Okay, the next interesting one is the MOTD, which is the message of the day. That's that little thing that you see under the server name. And you can set this to whatever you want. We're just gonna set this to YouTube server. That's pretty cool. All right, the next setting we can look at is PVP. And this is up to you. Uh, but for me, I'm going to leave this to true. Now, up until this point, we've just been looking at settings that are interesting and you might want to change for your server. But this one is quite important. So we're going to set the server IP to 127.0.0.1. And what this IP is, is it's a loopback address. This means that only your computer will be able to connect to the server. If you want, say, your friends to join the server, you're going to have to port forward uh, and this, this will change. But for this video, we're just going to create a local server. And the next one down is very important as well. This is the server port. Now for us, we can just leave this to 25565 because that's fine. But if you wanted to run it on a different port, then you would have to change this number. Uh, and then the final few values are not particularly interesting. Maybe the only one that we might look at is the whitelist which for me, I'm just gonna set this to true just to demonstrate. Uh, and now that we've edited our server.properties file, we can just save it with control S and now our server properties has been updated. And if we go back to our terminal, uh, we run this command again, all of our settings will be updated. But we don't actually wanna do that yet because it's kind of annoying to have to type this command every single time we wanna start the server, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a quick way to start this server. I will show you how to do it on Linux and Windows. So first, if you're on Linux, you're just gonna right click I'm going to create new uh, and you're just going to say text file or file. That's fine. And we're just going to call this run and then we're going to, this is very important. We want to change the ending from .txt to .sh. We're just going to hit enter. Now we're going to open this with the text editor. So now we have our file open. We just want to type our command. So java dash xmx one g dash xms one g dash jar and then our name of the file so paper dot jar and then no gui perfect so now if we save this we come back to our folder you want to right click on that run.sh go to properties change to permissions and then tick this little is executable uh, and we'll hit ok and now you see if we go back to our console we can type dot slash and then run dot sh and just like that it's run our command for us and this tiny little dot slash run dot sh is much much easier to remember much easier to use okay so now that that's worked i'm going to show you how to do this for windows now this is going to be quite similar to what we did on linux but instead of creating a dot sh file we're going to create a .bat file. So we're going to right click, create new text file, and then we're going to do run. And we've created this file. So now we're going to open that with a text editor. And just like we did on Linux, we're going to do java dash xmx one g dash xms one g and then jar and then the name of our file so paper.jar and then no GUI and we're going to save this we're going to change this to dot bat and that's very important you want to make sure you change that I'm going to close our text editor 
and now we're here. And we're just going to go to our terminal and we're going to do uh, on Windows. This command will just be run dot bat like that. And this should work for you. Now for me, because I'm on Linux, we can actually use these bat files as well. We just have to put the dot slash in front of it and make sure to set it as an executable. But on Windows, you should be fine with just run dot bat. Uh, and that's about it. So now we're ready to connect to our server. So we're just going to start it up here. Uh, I'm going to use this method here. And that's going to go on and start up. And while that's starting up, we can just go over to the game. And um, we'll hit multiplayer. And we're going to add server. And we're just going to call this. Uh, I'm just going to call it YouTube server. Uh, okay, and then we're going to put in that IP address from before. Remember, so 127. Dot zero dot zero dot one. If we press done, let's refresh here. I see it's online. So if we connect to our server, oh, oh, I actually forgot about this. We did not whitelist ourselves and we turn on the whitelist. So if we go back to our server console, we can just do whitelist add. And then your username right here. Okay, so we just do that. And it'll say added your username to the whitelist. And if we come back to the game and we try to log in again, this time it should work. And you'll see that we are in our world. And this might be a bit laggy for me uh, because I'm running a recording software and the server and the game all on the same computer. But as you can see, we are on our server and it is running. And we can fly around and it's all working great uh, as i said this is very laggy for me because i'm running all three of these programs but now you might want to run commands on your server and to do that you're going to have to make yourself a server operator so to do that we're going to come back to the console i'm going to type op and then your username and you can usually just press tab here and it'll autofill you press enter and it'll say made your username server operator and if we go back to the game, it should say the same thing. Here you go, server made uh, your username operator. And it means now we can run commands like game mode, so if we want to go into survival, or uh, if we want to, you know, set a block, so we still want to set this block to water, we can now use commands. Now, the last thing I told you guys I'd show you was how to set up plugins. Uh, and this is very simple. Uh, so we're just going to exit out of our server here. And we're going to go here and we're just going to stop the server. We're just going to stop. And that should shut it down. So the first thing we need to do is actually download these plugins. And I'll put the link to the three plugins that we're going to be installing. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. Uh, it's just Essentials, which is a very common plugin that many people use, and then a free anti-cheat plugin, and a permissions manager called Luckperms, which is again uh, a plugin that quite a lot of people use. Many, many servers use it. Uh, so we're just going to hit download, and this one will take you to the external site, and you're just going to hit download here on the Essentials X, and just save that. And then we're going to come over here to Anti-Cheat Reloaded, and we're going to, again, download. And finally, we'll go to Luck Firms, and we will hit Download. Okay, coming over to our Downloads folder now, we're just going to select all of these. We're going to right-click Cut, and then we're going to go into our Server folder, and then we're going to find the one that says Plugins, and we're going to paste them in here. Just like that. So they're in here. Then, that's all we have to do. We can just go back to our console and we can do our method of starting it up again. So now this is started up and we can actually see that there is an error here. And I'll tell you why this is there in a minute. Uh, but first we can just do plugins. And if we hit enter, we can see that two of our plugins are loaded, essentials and luck perms, which is great. Now you might be asking why the third one isn't. And if we go up here, you can see that it's actually thrown an error 
uh, and this is because it's missing a plugin that it is dependent upon, and that plugin is protocol lib. Now this is a library that you should never have to worry about, it's just all you have to know is that a lot of plugins will depend on it, so if you ever see anything that looks like this, um, that says, you know, unknown or missing dependency, we can just stop the server uh, and we have to go download protocol lib. Now again, I will leave the link to this plugin in the description, but we're just gonna press download exactly like we did before. We're going to go to the download, downloads, and we're going to cut this and go into Minecraft server and plugins. And then we're just gonna go paste. And if we then go back to our console and start this up again, we should see that that error is totally gone and if we run plugins once this starts up, plugins, we should see all four of our plugins, anti-cheat reloaded, essentials, luck perms, and protocol lib. And that is all we need to create our very own server uh, with plugins and everything. So we can join the world again. Now we see we have all these plugins and uh, we can also run here. And we see we have all the plugins. Now, I'm not going to be showing you how to use these plugins in this video, but it's very useful to know how to install them uh, because it's very common to want plugins on your servers. All right, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, subscribe, and if there's anything you didn't understand or you want me to clarify, just leave me a comment and I will try and respond. So I hope you learned something and have a excellent rest of your day.